It's almost lunchtime, homie. <laughs> Cape Canaveral. <laughs> We're not too confident that anybody ever made it to the moon. <laughs> Let's rock this joint. Brother. <laughs> What's Dude, me? It's like noon, bro. Hey, bro. I got your coffee. 11.33. Time to wake up. What up guys, my first day being 34. All right, day four on the road, third vlog. I'm gonna get my guys up right now. It's almost lunchtime, homie. Why is your bag on your bed, bro? I don't know a lot. I don't have the answer to a lot of things. That's what I was wondering last night. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna try to get these dudes up and we're gonna get rolling. Uh, I wanna go get some shirts from Destination Daytona for the family. One, I know we talked about it. Bro. Cape Canaveral, what, what goes on there? The rocket ships the go rockets off there. get launched from there to outer space. All right, so Cape Canaveral where, lo where rocket ships get launched. I also wanna take Cole to that burger spot. So we, got, we still have a big day ahead of us. I gotta get these boys riled up. So let's get going. 12.55. Almost one o'clock and I'm trying to get these dudes out. Get it boys, let's go check out this space place. Hey, they said that a space shuttle went out last night. Yeah, bring your helmet. We're gonna hop on the bikes, go get some breakfast, something in our stomachs. I need food. I need food and lots of water. You guys have the TV because he doesn't want food. Yeah, baby, go grab some breakfast. It's one o'clock, Juan. One? Yeah, let's go grab first meal. Yeah, first meal of the day. Excited to get a little morning on this CBOST, my friend. This was one of our hangover breakfasts last year for sure. I don't want a styrofoam cup. I remember they do that here. It's a two hour ride down to Cape Canaveral, um, but this is like a coastal ride. We could get on the freeway, but I think we just do that on the way back. It's 75 miles, but it says two hours. There's the trip. I free, it's like I actually wanted to do that last year. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't get it. Let's go check it out. Let's go get some gas. Get out of here. <laughs>
All right, I've been, I found like a visit Florida, Cape Canaveral thing. I definitely think the Kennedy Space Center would be pretty cool because we can go look at it. Yeah. And then there is launch viewing sites. I think those are the ones that are far away. Like you could see if a rocket launching, but if we pull up and there's nothing going on, you would. Yeah, I mean, it might be cool to see like the tower. I think we should go to the Kennedy Space Center though. You forgot to do this. All right, so we're in Cape Canaveral. So what we figured out to do is go check out the Kennedy Space Center. So we're gonna head on over there, see some rocket ships. The person who's the most excited to be here, take a guess. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when we when we rode when we rode by, I was like, oh, man, I, I do really want to go check it out. But I was like, if I have to like fly back, it's this is like bucket list for a lot of people that are into air, airplanes and aerospace stuff. Like not even if you work in that field. But Cole and I, we're not too confident that anybody ever made it to the moon. I I want you guys to chime in. If you're watching this live, chime in. Tell us what you think about the moon landing. Kind of curious about that. Cole and I have our doubts, and well, Juan is extremely I confident. I, I only like went to college and studied like orbit transfers and gravity. What's go. going on? So you you're just bummed that you're not gonna like you didn't get your money's worth. Like, you I got my money. To, to <laughs> they fooled you. And we never even went. <laughs> Either way, I definitely know they go to space. That I believe that. So they're definitely using these rocket ships to get out of our what you call it atmosphere into outer space so. and orbit. I mean all the satellites that give you internet and stuff no i i believe all that it's all or, it's all orbital mechanics it's and then you just do transfer orbits to get to the moon what's what's so different don't why don't know. you believe why don't you believe? i don't know dude Four thirty, and they're closing at five <laughs> we gotta run through this place dude check it out as fast as you can back and check out the rest of the yeah dude look at that you think they'll let us bring the bikes in there dude it's so sick <laughs> <We're thinking. laughs> his anxiety level just kicked up he thought we were gonna be here for a couple hours yeah. which i was cool with that and now he's like i can't read any of the plaques now where do we start Juan? we should have asked that guy we should have asked the guy who let us in what's the coolest thing to see if we only got a half hour where do we go go yeah the shuttle for sure we'll look at this real quick and then we'll go to the shuttle not real i believe it's real and i believe we went to space all right you're in charge of the gauges <laughs> i got the controls boop, 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 boop. Is this the actual one that they went Dude, imagine feeling like all the G forces launching. Dude, just so you guys know, we're laying down in the thing right now here. Let me see if I can. Dude, look, there's the thrust from this is probably like the CBOSD. You want me to turn the thrust on? <laughs> yeah. So they built two of those, a, pro a replica exactly like the one that's on the moon, and then they would replicate the moon surface at the JPL. Yeah, they replicated Pasadena. the moon surface back <laughs> when they said they got on the moon. So they built two and they replicated the moon surface for no. both of them. They would practice the moves here to make sure that whatever the one did in the moon was gonna work okay. It's crazy how big that is for real though. Here we go. All right, the venture is only begun. Oh, dude! We're looking to keep up back here. <laughs> like bringing, like, There's seven. another space star. So you're chilling. All right, they really got us looping around this place. Too. The greatest engineering accomplishments. Now, I just missed the last show today, but now I'm going to see this in. Look at you think they went up there with tin foil? That thing's pretty crazy. A wild. What's on the, like, what's the material on the outside? It's got some, like, ceramic tile, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Experiences a lot of heat when it's entering the atmosphere. <laughs> Torque wrench. What? That's what we used to put together the M8. These snap on tools. Where are you from? 
Yeah. Sir, we have a five o'clock departure. I'm gonna need you to uh -oh. get in your seat and get ready to take us right here. <laughs> yeah. Dude, e-brake. Dude, the bottom of it, because it's like so flat, looks insane. Yeah. No shoes. Yeah. It has to be scale, dude. This is definitely scale. Where are we going, Juan? International Space Station. Yeah, we're at McDonald's right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's miserable. All right, so this is like berms, and it, I think you're supposed to run and hit each one. So start at the back. One minute till touchdown. Right, One minute till touchdown. Maneuver executed. Landing. He's just gonna go down. <laughs> I have a feeling that it's got a GM in it. Airstream. Airstream. Hmm. Cool. Dually too. Dude, like thirty-five hundred, I think. What'd you get, brother? I grabbed a kind of like a Barbie doll and coloring books and a bedtime story for the kids. I got shot glass. I got Advil. <laughs> I was wondering why <laughs> yeah. you got that. I got space Advil. I got a little uh, magnet. magnet. So we did the rocket garden and yeah, Atlantis. One percent. Uh, so. <laughs> what do you got, dude? I got second a store. More start, dude. I got more second. I just don't know if there's room. Do you guys have room in your bag? Yeah, my bags are empty. Like fly, fly home. Oh, I bought that extra backpack from Supercross so we could fill it up and carry it. Yeah, I would like. Is this espresso? How much? Let me see the underside. How much is that, <laughs> dude? <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't get it. Every little stand he's walked through, he's like, oh, dude, oh, and he's holding his more. He's like, I want this one too. We wish we could have seen more. I don't disagree with that, but they're closed. It's 5.15 now. It's an hour and 13 minutes till we can get to Daytona Tap Room. Oh, is that the burger place? Yeah, I'm starving too. I'm so hungry. Yeah. So it's like, that hour is gonna be a struggle, but I think uh, it's gonna be worth it, so. And I asked them last night, they said the kitchen tonight's open till nine. Let's rock this joint. What's up, dude? Have you ridden this one yet? I haven't ripped this one yet. Kind of excited to like check out without the VBTI. I guess I have on the road glide, but all three bikes are so different. It's like cool to get a taste of each one. What's going on? What the hell? I, wait. <laughs> like I was thought he was like mad at us or something at first. <laughs> What's going on? We just, we just we heard, uh, we heard your bike. <laughs> <laughs> we right, yeah. What's going on? You guys. How's it going? <laughs> Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Well, when, yeah. when I saw the crashing in the back, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. I had Gosh. no idea. We haven't, we haven't seen your videos in a couple of days, so we didn't know you were coming on the side. Yeah, we kind of been, you know, a little secret, and then we'll yeah. drop our video on Tuesday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me see this guy. <laughs> One of the big burgers just went by. Cole's like, I don't even want that much food, though. <laughs> All right, Cole, we got the menu. The belly busters. This is it. The man versus food. One pound of beef. 
bacon, onion straws, fries, bacon jam, chili sauce, topped with fried egg, layered between three grilled cheese sandwiches. Go ahead, I dare you. Look at all the different french fry options, dude. I know the hand cut ones are bomb. I remember having them, but like, look at everything else they got. I, I mean, I think for sure we gotta do onion rings and then one of these fries. We'll do pickle fries, onion rings, hand cut fries. We'll do one of the man versus food burgers. I'll just do a single cheese smash burger. I'll do the same, but can I add bacon to it? I'll do a single smash burger, no cheese though. Yeah, get some. So you guys know, you saw this, it's got a grilled cheese, two burger patties, egg, I've tasted some chili. Chili's good. There's onion rings, french fries, bacon. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good old smash burger. I'll probably even have a couple more bites out of that thing. Fresh right here. So good. last bite of this burger, of the single burger, which is amazing. I'm probably still gonna tap in. I need a little bit more of that big dog burger. There it is. Your first experience of that ginormous burger. The mega burger. <laughs> hey, honestly, like, obviously you couldn't eat it like in one like bite, top to bottom. Yeah, yeah. The chili and like the grilled cheese and the yeah. egg, like it was so good. Like, it's, it, is, it is tasty. That's why I took a couple more bites out of it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take Cole on his first ever experience riding a Harley down Daytona Beach Main Street where all the parties are, where uh, it's motorcycles only on the road. There should be some craziness going on, so. There you have it, our third day here at the 83rd Daytona Bike Week. Uh, good times, Juan got to go see some cool engineering stuff, and uh, we got to rip these bikes up and down the coast. So with that being said, the trip ain't over yet. We'll be back again later this week, but we'll be here tomorrow. So follow along and we'll see you guys on the next one. See you later. See ya. Now we're ready to rip. <laughs>